Is it really summer in New England without a fried seafood feast on the beach? Paul and Judy Conway say yes. You give the alternative of something different. The Conways are the owners of Farr's Famous Chicken. Farr's first opened in the 1970s and was a big draw in the area. After several changes in ownership, the Conways bought the restaurant in 2015 and once again placed fried chicken at the heart of the menu. Judy had worked at Farr's as a teen and now draws on that experience as owner. I spent every summer here and I always worked at the beach. And so bringing this back, it was like amazing. The Conways followed the original Farr's chicken recipe using a pressure fryer known as a broaster. Our chicken gets delivered fresh. So it goes in the broaster, it seals all the juices in so it's not greasy, but it's crunchy. They say the fried chicken tastes great hot and straight out of the kitchen, or even better, on the beach. No utensils required. They'll come up and they'll order a bucket of chicken, and then they bring it out. It's like a picnic. Along with standard french fries, Fars offers JoJo's, fried potato wedges that Paul and Judy say complete the perfect beach picnic. The Conways say the range of beach eats at Hampton is enormous, but each restaurant shares something in common. We take care of each other. Like someone says, where do I get seafood? We send them up there. Where do I get chicken? They say, oh, they'll send us there, but we all take care of each other. There's so many small local people that put out such great food and they work hard at it. It's a thing of staying true to the locals. Our day at Hampton Beach wouldn't be complete without a sweet treat. We have saltwater taffy fudge. We make the fudge every day in the summer. Fine chocolates, we have homemade caramel corn. Whatever kind of candy you want, we have it. Phil and Linda Statiris opened the Candy Corner in 1999. Their daughter, Kristen, is a co-owner. I've been working on the beach since I was 11. My dad, he was doing food and fried dough and ice cream and he decided he wanted to open up a candy store. So him and my mom opened up this shop in 23 years ago. Kristen says it took years for the family to learn every last detail of the candy business, but they stuck with it. We all know every day is a good day for chocolate, but the family is still trying to figure out why their decadent fudge is a bestseller on hot summer days. People love coming to the beach and getting fudge. The other hot seller, homemade caramel apples. Kristen makes hundreds on a busy day, a job that is tougher than it looks. The dipping is easy. Dip, baby, yeah. dip, dip, dip. Push it all Ooh, the way hot in. down here. It is hot, yeah. Whoa, okay, here we go. Wow, right. it's heavy too. Yeah, so start at the top. Start yep. at the top. And just twirl it. Twirl, uh-oh, uh -huh. I feel like I might lose it. Yeah, you oh. gotta have a good grip. Okay, oh, that's good, now you okay. can pull it off. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now you just scoop off the bottom. Just scoop, scoop off. off. There you go, that yeah. looks great. That's Went perfect. Well. Look at that side, that's the good side. That is, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd eat it. Kristen says there's a steady stream of candy connoisseurs from the arcade just steps away who pop in the store from morning to night. You're on vacation, you're spending the day in the sun, and you just want a little sweets to take home. She says beachgoers taste vary, but the Candy Corner selection offers a little something for everyone. You can pick your own taffy. We have about 30 different flavors of saltwater taffy. And then we have all this bin candy. And I mean, the kids love it. They just grab a bag and go wild. <laughs> candy Corner has 20 varieties of fudge, including some summer flavors like creamsicle. Best seller though? peanut butter chocolate, of course. Of course, and there are a lot of theories of why fudge and sweet mm. treats go hand in hand with these beach communities. In the 19th century, fudge, the popularity of fudge and tourism started to grow in the United States and communities started using sweets as a way to mm. draw people in. So there you go.